Hey, Hickok 45 here. What was that? Not here. Oh, <laughs> uh, where'd that come from? A 1022. Wow, you'd have thought that was bigger than that and would not fit in a holster, an inside the waistband holster, wouldn't you? Well, actually, it is pretty big. It's full size, 18 and a half inch barrel. And uh, it just so happens that this is the takedown model. You grab underneath and you just open it up. Two pieces. If you haven't seen this, this is pretty cool. Uh, I was aware of it and then I made a point to look at it at the NRA convention and uh, put in a request to uh, take a look at one of these as a TNE and gun. So Ruger sent this uh, this week and I'm very pleased to receive it. That's uh, pretty interesting. I always like the 1022 OK. I've had one for a long, long, long time. I don't shoot it very often. This adds another element that uh, I find pretty interesting. The cool thing about it is too, it's very simple to, to operate. I have a breakdown uh, Marlin that you really do need to hold your mouth right and your nose right and be careful with it. But this baby, you just grab that button and twist and it comes right out. You know, and there's your chamber and everything. And you line it back up, right back in. Pretty cool. And look at the uh, the bag you get with it. This is pretty cool. I think we're going to get rained on here if we're not careful. Uh, it has, a, they call it a kind of a backpack style bag. You got straps and everything. You can uh, hook it up and put it on your back. But the gun comes in in that bag, that length, you know, because that's all you need. You know, you slip this in there and the stock in the other side and close it up, and you've got a pretty small bag that you can put on your back. Pretty cool, huh? Nice, nice feature actually comes with it. So, and it seems to shoot. I've just shot a few times, but it seems to shoot just like a, a 1022. We haven't messed with the sights or anything. There's another magazine. Let's see if it'll shoot some more. We have some targets set up so we can do exactly that. It's uh, stainless, of course, and polymer. So uh, we tried to order up a little bit of a sprinkle just to uh, test the, you know, the gun and the elements here. I mean, you know, that's what, uh, that's where stainless and polymer really shines when you've got bad weather. Can't beat that. Let's try a couple of these targets where the rain gets them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Spray a little bit. That's yeah, nice. Let's see if the sights are on. Pretty close. I do believe. I do believe. Oops. <laughs> Yes, that's why we love a semi-automatic 22, don't we? You can just throw the lid. Let's see, I have a couple more, and let's try these. We got some Butler Creek, got some Ruger mags. I'm glad I have those. I've been accumulating those lately because uh, uh, I go back into the old days when we used the old Ram line. That was one of the the, the few high-capacity mags that was around, and those things were junk. They were junk, I think. We got, yeah, we got one picked up. So let's see if the uh, oh, there's that coconut. Look at that. Let's pop him some. <laughs> that good old. Well, that's a Butler Creek. Didn't feel right. Got a double feed on that thing. I'll try him again. Doesn't really like to go in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ditch that one. I got some more of these Ruger mags. Well, I've got one more Butler Creek. We'll try it. Let's see if it's any better. Okay. I'm eventually going to nothing but the, the Ruger mags. <laughs> yeah. I see that one's that's a Butler Creek too. Now you watch the difference. It's a brand new gun and I, I didn't lube it or anything. I'm assuming it was okay. I'll bet you we have no trouble with the Ruger mag. 
See, they go in like a dream. These BX uh, 25s, they're uh, they're nice. They're 25 rounders, and uh, I've never had any trouble with them. I see a two liter there. I didn't get. Yeehaw. <laughs> oh boy! Wow, bird went flying by. Let's go across the hill and see if we're on uh, target or not here. I'll try the red rifle plate since we have a rifle. Okay. Must be on. Let's try that little bitty piggy over there on the left by the flower pot. All right. What a shot. Oh, good. The sights must be on. That doesn't leave me many excuses. There's a flower pot line there that's not been shot, I don't think. That's now. <laughs> Can't knock over too much of the steel. I'll try the little plate up there to the right of the piggies. All right. I that chicken will fall if I hit it. I think they're hard to knock over. They're pretty heavy. Click. All right. See the difference? Those things work. I have one more. They're they're a, they're a dream. Uh, this isn't a magazine video, but I tell you what. Uh, for years and years, it was hard to find really good magazines for these. At least that's the experience I had. And uh, those things are, are sweet. They work. So I was hoping it rained a little bit harder so we could do a good test. But again, this is uh, this is really easy to break down yeah there it is they talk about easy to clean so a couple of advantages i see are uh the ease with which you can just clean it you know the barrel and get to it from the the you know the breach the chamber so simply and then of course for packing uh for packing up for whatever trek or shooting adventure you're about to embark on you know you've got a, a gun that will fit into a small uh, uh piece of luggage or backpack whatever it might be and it locks very securely it's just pretty neat I, I, I'll tell you like I was saying uh, we have a, a couple of the Marlin the old uh, Marlin guns that break apart you know the model 39s and they break apart all right but I always feel strange banging them on the floor or whatever because uh, they're such nice rifles the beautiful finish uh, I like the way this thing breaks apart it, uh, it's a dream okay Pretty neat. So let's uh, put this last magazine in there. And try it again. What do we have that, that needs shooting? I think I finally figured out how to how to operate the bolt on one of these 1022. <laughs> a little help from John. I might actually become a 22 fan. Uh, it's going to be another gun hard to send back. <laughs> I can just tell. Oh, there's no hope for me. Let's see if the sights are really on. I'm going to try a bowling pin. On the right, maybe. All right, I see it moving. Yeah. Can't tell where they hit the other one. Yeah, okay. That's good. I don't have to mess with the sights. We haven't shot Mr. Gong. He feels neglected. I don't want him to feel neglected. <laughs> At least you can hear it when it hits them. It won't knock them over. But I'd knock a pig over if they're sitting right. Let's try that one on the left down low there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Takes a few hits to really bring him down. Empty magazine. All right. Pretty cool little gun. Uh, uh, nice pouch. And uh, you get everything with it you need. Full instructions on how to break it apart. And uh, that's quite simple. The bolt does have to be back uh, before you do that, before you take it apart uh, or put it back together. And uh, other than that, there's just not a lot to know. I've discovered, the, for me, the best way is to grab it like that and just pull it out.
you know, you're back in the same way. That's a that's a nice little gun, the 1022, one of the most uh, popular rifles ever made uh, in this country, any country, I guess. And now uh, comes apart quite easily in a uh, takedown model, and uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Ruger 1022. We all know about it. And many of us uh, have had them for a long time. Many of you love them, and uh, you'll probably want one of these. I'm, I'm sure of that if you, if you like the gun. So I'm pretty impressed with it and uh, might get me back into shooting some more 22. Life's pretty good.